Okay, good question. This claim that Allah Ta'ala loves all of His creation is partly true and it partly has a, a false meaning. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَرْضَى لِعِبَادِهِ الْكُفْرِ Allah is not pleased with His... He's not pleased when His creation goes down a wrong path, meaning the human being. Because firstly, His you know, animals and things, they don't have choice in the first place. So it is correct that Allah does have a love for them to be guided. But the phrase, if the phrase is that he loves them as is unconditionally, this is false. This is not true. Why is it not true? Because you can't make a claim about Allah Ta'ala. Who are you? To, uh, someone hired you to be his lawyer? To be his spokesperson? Who was his spokesperson? The prophets. Like this is a knowledge you can't guess. You can't just have feelings about God and think it's truth. God is unseen to you. The only way you know anything about him that's actually true is by is not by gut feelings, is by prophets. So what the Quran and the Hadith say, that's what is true about God. My gut feeling about God is not necessarily true. It could be true, but it needs confirmation from a prophet. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, says this Hadith and this ayah in the Quran that Allah is not pleased with his servants to be in disbelief, that he wants them to be in belief. He loves for them to be in belief or to be in the good. And belief is the greatest of good, right? So from that aspect, it's true. From the aspect that if you're trying to sell it to me that he loves everyone unconditionally, so therefore the one who submits and the one who doesn't submit is the same. The one who obeys and the one who disobeys is the same. Well, we have so many ayahs in the Quran says, Laysu sawa. They're not the same, right? Whoever thinks that they're the same has made a misjudgment in many you th they think that the one who he does sins all day and the one who's pious all day that they're going to have the same results right same reaction that's not the same unless they make tawbah unless they repent and change their ways so this is the, the the real question is the sign of divine love is following the prophet peace be upon him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us an, a verse of love and he says say if you truly love allah then follow the prophet okay Follow the Prophet. That is a sign that you truly love Allah. I want to express my love for Allah. How? Not how I want to. Okay, if someone loves me, can he give me the gift that, I, that he wants? Or the gift that I want? Right? If you're going to give a gift to your wife, do you give her the gift that you want? Right? Or the gift that she wants? Oh, yeah, I got you tickets to the Baltimore Orioles game. Oh, really? Is that for you or for me? For me or for you? Right? That's a gift for you. That's not something that she wants. Okay? Uh, so likewise, you worship Allah as He wants, not how you want. You might think something is good, but it's not. So this idea of uh, gut feeling religion is just, it has no substance. Their gut feeling does have a basis in religion when you don't know something. The Prophet made it clear. If you don't know something, you have no knowledge, no recourse to ask, no way to learn, then go with your gut, which means if ask your heart. When? In the absence of knowledge, when I have no other choice. But otherwise, our gut is not a spokesperson for God. We have a book, he sends us a book, he sends us a prophet, he sends us scholars to analyze what this text actually means. Okay? And then that's the true meaning.